How's it going, everyone? Hope everyone enjoyed September the 10th races at Buckshot Speedway, especially for the factory stocks. That's what this video is going to be about today. Remember to support your favorite track by liking the video and subscribing to our channel for future video uploads to be notified to you. Hit that bell for those notifications. And as always, we appreciate your support from all the fans and from all the drivers. Enjoy the video. Right now, I can tell you we got the factory stocks. Factory stocks are out there now. Number 36 of Kevin Croker is going to be racing with us tonight. 88 of Sandy Dawson. Number 35 of Monica Everett. Number 08 of Derek Price. Number 00 D, Purple, Dawson Davis. Number two of Sam Martin. Number double zero, the red car of Noah Davis. Number 28 of David Wood. 01 of Greg Wilkins. Number 26 of Mason Lawley. Number one of Chris Howell. 13 of Kyle Smith. Number 55 of Chris Mills. 02 of Mark Price. And 24 of Matt Brown. Right to congratulate. We would like to congratulate Kyle Smith for winning the factory stock class. He locked it in just last week. He locked his place in to win the championship. So congratulations to Kyle Smith for him winning his first season championship here at Buckshot Speedway. We thank him very much for coming. He comes every single weekend and he builds those points up. We appreciate him very much. Green light is out. That light is out in the back stretch. The green light's just gonna come back on. Here we go, going to this next turn. Green flag's up in the air. Croker gets a nice little, little jump right there. He's gonna have Greg Wilkins following him into turn one. Monica gets a little bump right there. Number one of Chris Howell went in a little too deep. When he got in too deep, Monica, uh, he got into Monica and it kind of bumped him there into the infield. All right, race fans, we're going to do a complete restart. Kevin Croker back on that inside line. We're going to have Monica Everett. She's going to get a second chance. Greg Wilkins is going to follow it in. Here we go. Once again, Croker gets a nice start. Greg Wilkins is going to follow it up. The double zero riding the rear end of number 35, Monica Everett. Monica, she's trying to hold her own, but she's starting to fall back. Greg Wilkins was able to finally get around Croker there. Croker put a little work in that car this weekend. He's doing a lot better this weekend than the other weekends he's been driving. Great job on that race team for doing more with that car. He's actually keeping it up there. Ooh, little tight through turn two, little tight. He's gonna lose that second place spot to the number one car. Chris Howell, he's gonna be able to take it. Chris Howell gets tight, turn one and two. So Croker's gonna try to return the favor, get back around him through the backstretch. Monica, she's falling a little bit further behind. She's now fighting it out with the double zero, Noah Davis. Noah Davis was able to get around Monica Everett. Croker and the number one of Chris Howell. Oh, Monica gets a little loose there. She almost gets into the number 24. Matt Brown, but she's able to save it. They're gonna continue along. Two to go for this factory socks. Second heat rate, two to go. And number 55 in the rear, Chris Mills is on a Sunday drive trying to keep the car moving along here. White flag for Greg Wilkins flying away in that car. He's gonna get held up just a little bit by the number 55. He's gonna go on by gonna be the checkered flag. Monica Everett still having a hard time controlling that car coming out of turn two. They may have to do some adjustments. Greg Wilkins gonna take the win for the heat race. Sorry, that's gonna be Mason Lawley racing that car tonight. That's gonna be Lawley racing that car. Mark Price starting in the rear, green flags up. Lawley gets super loose. He puts a lot of torque in the rear end. He gets super loose. He can't even get it under control. He's trying to get it back on the track, get it back going again. Whoa, big pile up, big pile up, big pile up. Sandy Dawson gets around. Kyle Smith go, digs, dip, uh, dips down into the infield to miss him. 
Sam Martin, everybody else trying to miss him. Doesn't look like anybody made contact. Everybody's able to miss everybody. But aside from that, they're going into turn four. Green flies go up in the air for factory stocks. Sandy gets super loose right there. He got a, he got a little tap by Sam Martin, but that was a bit earlier. I don't know if that affected. I think it's that tire. I think it's that that right rear fender is somehow possibly binding up that tire. He wiggled it back and forth and hoped that maybe, and it runs fine when it's slowed down. Let's see what he does on this restart. Puts a little torque in the in the car. Green flags back up. He whips it around. He's able to keep it under control this time. He's losing, he lost a little momentum on it, but he's keeping it going. Kyle Smith on the outside of him. Three wide in that rear. Mark Price is always making it interesting, but this time he had the shorter end of the deal. He had to let off. Lolly, he got that car. Under control and going again. Let's see what he's got for him. Derek Price starting to pull away. Kyle Smith behind him. Sandy Dawson the inside of Sam Martin. Mark Price making a move on that 0 2 car. Oh, gives, gives Lolly a little bump. Gives Lolly a little bump right there to get him pushed up to the high side. So Mark Price getting underneath him, but Lolly didn't give, give it up at all. That kind of actually helped him a little bit. There we go again. Single foul down the back stretch. Derek Price starting to pull away. That tire on that on Sandy Dawson's car just still looks like it's giving him issues out of the turns. When he comes out of the turns, he still have to try to do his best to keep that car under control. Sam Martin slowly but surely catching up to Kyle Smith. Two to go this time, two to go. Sam Martin now on the rear end of Kyle Smith. Mark Price still trying to get by Lolly there. Lolly doing his job to keep him in the rear. This is going to be the last lap. Derek Price starting to pull away here. Sam Martin's on the rear end of Kyle Smith to try to gain this position. Mark Price is trying this high line now. He's going to try to outside line on the track. Lolly's going to try to keep him at the door. Mark Price. Digs it deep, blows it in. Lolly kind of comes up and bumps him, but Mark was able to actually get by right there. Nice race there with the factory stocks. Derek Price takes that first place spot with the second heat. Kyle Smith takes the second spot and Sam Martin with the third place spot for the heats. Second heats for the factory stock. He's sitting in a position where he can easily try to make his way up to at least third or second. We'll see what they'll do in this restart. Croker's been having something good on that car too. We'll see where this restart goes. Greg Wilkins and Derek Price starts it off. Side by side going to his next turn. They line up. Sandy Dawson still having issues with that with that tire or something, because he just did it again in turn number two. Green flags out. Derek Price now holding his, holding his line on the outside, but Greg Wilson's gonna be able to take it. going on. Sam Martin in rear end of Kyle Smith. Going to his next turn. Sandy Dawson still having issues that that tire going coming out of the turns in the corners. I know he's trying to race the car, but if he continues having a problem, he won't be able to get up front. Greg Wilkins starting to pull away while Derek Price and that number one car, Chris Howell, they're finding that second place spot. Kyle Smith behind them and Sam Martin behind Kyle. Mark Price able to make his way up. Sandy Dawson doing a great job at least keeping that car under control. Greg Wilkins getting into lap traffic now. Kyle 
Smith moving on up, trying to get up to Howell. Derek Price is trying to catch back up to Greg Wilkins now that he doesn't have Howell on his rear bumper. Sam Martin all over the rear end of Kyle Smith right now. It's going to give room for Mark Price to make a move here. Sam Martin has to come down because of lap traffic on the outside lane. Sandy Dawson, not only has he been trying to fight off, fight Mark Price for that position, he's also having to fight the car. We got a car parked on the inside lane of turn number four. That's with 26 of Mason Lawley. Derek Price, it gets a good jump right there. Green flag's up in the air. He's on the inside of Greg. He's trying his hardest to maintain it, but Greg's just got more speed going into the next turn. That's gonna leave an opening for Howell to get underneath Derek. Derek pushes him down, but make him lose that speed. Kyle Smith in that fourth place spot. Trying to come on up there. Oh, big hit in the wall by Sam Martin. Big hit into the wall by Sam Martin. And that's gonna come down and collect Mark Price. And Mark Price gonna run into the front right corner panel of Sandy Dawson, but they keep it running somehow. Number 24 is spun out in the back stretch. He is in the infield. He is in the infield. He is out of harm's way. So they're gonna give him a courtesy caution for the spin out. Going to the next turn, green flag up in the air. How on the inside of Derek Price. Greg Wilkins pulling away. All lined up. Sam Martin stuck on that outside lane. Single file right now. Greg Wilkins on a Sunday drive. Getting the two to go this time. Everybody single file right now. Pretty close to it, single file. Everybody trying to make moves, but nobody's able to move on the, anybody. The only person right now is Sam Martin trying to inside of Mark Price. That's about it. He digs it deeper. Sandy Dawson gives him a little tap. This is going to be the checker flag, though, for Greg Wilkins. Checker flag. Greg Wilkins is going to take the win for the factory stocks tonight. Derek Price in second, and Howell in third. We hope everyone enjoyed September the 10th race and congratulations to Greg Wilkins for dominating this race. He gave it all he had and it paid off. We got quite a few big races coming up at the end of the year. So be sure to check up on www.buckshotspeedway.com to be updated on all the race events that will be coming up. That's going to be it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. So we hope to see you next time here at Buckshot Speedway.